hello students hope you are able to understand the concept of sex discussed in last few videos four of last four or five videos now today we are going to start our new topic that is your fraction what is fraction what does it represent how we uh, uh, keep Consider each part of the video uh, or fraction. All things we discuss in the base video. So, suppose a number expressed in the form of likewise as a one upon two or p upon four likewise. So, this this type of numbers. Are known as your fraction. At the first, this if we represent one number divided by some other number, then this type of this representation is known as your fraction. So this is the concept of fraction. Now, what does it mean? As you know, that these two are the fraction. But what does it mean? It means that we have a total. Two part. We have total part. These are known as a part. Total part. We have two part out of two. We need one part. We have two equal part, and out of that two, we have one part. In this, we have four part. We have four part. Out of four, we need three part. So this is the example of your fraction. Fraction in this fraction, this part is always greater than this part because this represents that total part is part is this one. Out of this total part, we need either this one or in this case, it's this one three, either three or one. So this is the concept of fraction. It means what? Two stands for total part, and one and three stands for required part. So hope this thing, this one is clear. Once again, I am taking one example and clear fight it to you. Suppose I am using taking the example of five upon twelve. And it is big, five upon twelve. What does it means? It means that uh, there are twelve equal parts. There are twelve equal parts. Out of twelve, five parts. Have taken or removed whatever it has. Five parts are taken. This means that, or this is the concept of fraction. Now, there are three parts of a given fraction. First part is your five. This is known as your numerator part. The word is very clear. It's a numerator, and this numerator is same. This numerator. Is as same as the dividend in case of division. Dividend as in case of division. Good. And this part is known as your denominator. Denominator means what? This part is as same as division. Someone said divisor also, but it is divisor. 
percent division divide clear and this is the symbol of division this is the symbol of division or division line this one is known as the division line this one is known as the division line so hope this part is clear to you once again numerator this is numerator and these two are separated by a division line and this is always greater than this means in case of fraction only numerator is always greater than denominator sorry numerator is always smaller than denominator need not to confuse now i am using one example from your book that example is example number 2 Example number 2. Write natural numbers from 2 to 12. From 2 to 12, we need to write the natural number. It's a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm writing as a big one. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. The question says that what fraction of them are prime numbers? What fraction of them are prime numbers? So first part we count the total total natural numbers. So total natural numbers are how much? When we count this one, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's a so total natural numbers are 11. Prime numbers. Prime numbers equals to how much? Now, so how many prime numbers we have? I am underlining the prime numbers. 2, 3. These are this is prime number 5, 7, and 11. So these are your prime numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 prime numbers are there. So, uh, how you represent this prime number by using fraction? So, you can say that the required fraction equals to 5 upon 11. Means, out of 11 part, 11 natural numbers. 5, 11 given natural numbers, 5 are prime numbers. This is the concept. So, hope you are able to understand. Now, one by one, we discuss portions of your uh, book exercise, then you can easily clear the concept. First question says of exercise 6.1. It's your exercise. 6.1 says that write the following division as fraction. Write the following division as fraction. I am choosing one more one question from this. It's a 113 divided by 128. What we discussed that numerator is as same as your division, uh, sorry, dividend and denominator is as same as your division so let's start so we can write how it's a 1, 1, 3 divided by 1, 2, 3 as we know that this dividend represent must be represent at limiter part this divide symbol must be represented by division line and this one is your division represent by denominator so this is your fraction part now how how do I convert in word of this fraction I am talking question number 2 it's a 15 upon 28 Simple. Out of twenty eight 
equal part fifteen equal fifteen equal parts of the thing. Likewise, you can write in what? Now, in your next part, third question, it says that write the following fraction in number form. So, I hope you are able to write. But once again, let me write, explain the concept. I am mean, writing over here. In question number 3, it says that 748. 7 4 P. Seven forty-eight means what? Always remember that the denominator part in God is always written over there with the, the suffix th. It is seven forty-eight. So seven is always represent. Seven always represent denominator part. Then divide 48 means 40. Likewise, you can write all the other parts. Then the figure problems. We must discuss this one only one. That is your fourth, fifth. In question, it is given as a colored one, but it is difficult for me to color with your, your marker. So it is a question. Question says that what fraction of each of the following figures are select part? So we must count the total part. Total part. How much we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Select part. Equals to 1. Fraction required fraction. upon 6. Likewise, you will solve all the given question till question number 5. Then next day we discuss all others part of the questions. Also, I 6.1. Thank you.